A student weighs a 5.2 kilogram object by hanging it from a scale attached to the ceiling of an elevator. What is the apparent weight of the object if the elevator is at rest? Letter B. If the elevator moves with an upward acceleration of 3.5 meters per second square. And letter C. If the elevator moves with a downward acceleration of 2.3 meters per second square. According to Galileo, all objects dropped near the surface of the Earth would fall with the same acceleration. And the force that causes this acceleration is called the force of gravity or the gravitational force. The force of gravity is also known as the weight. The weight of any object on the Earth's surface is simply, again, the gravitational force exerted on it by the Earth. So as we can see from everyday experience natin that the greater the mass of an object, the greater its weight. For example, Kung maglalagay tayo ng brick on a scale and susukatin natin yung kanyang weight, you might get a reading of for example a 9 newton and if you put a second identical brick on the scale, another brick na kamukha niya which doubles the mass, you will find the weight of around twice that 9 newton which is equal to 18 newton and clearly, there must be a simple connection between weight and the mass. Para mas makita natin kung ano yung connection na yan between the mass and the weight, we consider again yung brick na na-mention natin kanina and letting it drop in free fall. Yan. So makikita natin in this figure, the only force acting on the brick is weight. Kapag nasa free fall siya, which is downward, pababa lagi yung weight natin or yung force of gravity. Kung pipili natin yung upward to be the positive direction, ibig sabihin, summation of force at the vertical is equal to negative weight. Dahil weight lang naman yung nag-a-act na force dun sa brick. As we let it in free fall, yung brick natin ay gumagalaw downward with an acceleration of 9.81 meters per second square regardless dun sa kanyang mass. Ibig sabihin yung acceleration natin at vertical is equal to negative gravity. And using this results in Newton's second law of motion uh, using this equation, net force at y component is equal to the mass times the acceleration at y component. So, itong net force natin again is equal to negative weight. Ito siya. This is equal to mass times acceleration at vertical natin is gravity which is negative. So, this is negative. And we can cancel the negative sign now. Therefore, the weight of an object of a mass is equal to mass times gravity. Weight is a gravitational force measured in newtons. Mass is a measure of the inertia of an object and it is given in kilograms. You pull upward on a stuffed suitcase with a force of 105 newton and it accelerates upward at 0 0.725 meters per second square. What are the mass and the weight of the suitcase? So this is the suitcase. Ilagay muna natin yung forces na nag act dun sa suitcase. First is yung weight niya. And yung force upward na 105 Newton. So, ang first natin ay solve is yung mass ng suitcase. At pag nasolve na natin yung mass ng suitcase, i-multiply natin yung mass sa gravity and therefore, siya na yung weight ng suitcase. So, to solve for this, we take the summation at y or the net force at vertical and this is equal to force as positive considering ito yung ating signs. So this is positive minus the weight ng suitcase. And using the second law of motion, yung net force natin at y is equal to mass times the acceleration at the vertical. Since equal lang naman ito, pwede natin i-equate yung mass times the acceleration at y equals f minus the weight. Mass times the acceleration at y now is equal to force, which is given naman na, and yung weight natin is equal to mass times the gravity. Solving for the mass, we derive the equation. Ilipat natin itong negative mass times the gravity sa 
left side of the equation, it is now mass times the acceleration plus mass times the gravity equals the F or the force. We factor out the mass and the matitira sa loob is yung acceleration plus the gravity and this is equal to force. We divide both sides by acceleration plus the gravity. Para makancel, ang matitira lang is yung mass. We can now solve for the mass of the suitcase. Ang force na given is 105 newton. And the acceleration upward is equal to 0.725 meters per second square plus the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square. By calculating, mass is equal to 9.97 kilograms. For the weight naman, again, we just have to multiply the mass to the acceleration due to gravity. So, for weight, this is equal to mass times gravity. Mass is equal to 9.97 kilograms and we multiply it to 9.81 meters per second square. Weight now is equal to 97.8 newton. So this is the mass and the weight of the suitcase and this is example number 1. Example number 2. A 97 kilogram man slides 3 meters down a pole to the ground floor. Suppose the man starts from rest, he slides with constant acceleration and reaches the ground floor in 1.2 seconds. What was the upward force exerted by the pole on the man? In the figure, makikita natin yung man na nag-slide pababa and meron dalawang forces na nag act sa kanya. Una is yung kanyang weight, eto siya. Pangalawa is yung force na nararamdaman niya na ibinibigay nung pole which is pataas, eto siya. So in creating a free body diagram, this is the weight. And this is the force na binibigay nung pole. Assuming this is the positive sides. The basic idea in... This problem, in approaching this problem, is to apply the Newton's second law of motion to the y direction. So we have the net force y, and this is equal to mass times the acceleration at vertical. Walang binigay sa atin na acceleration, pero pwede natin siyang masolve using the equations from kinematics. Meron tayong equation na y equals y sub o plus v sub o y times time plus one half times the acceleration y times t square. Pag nasolve na natin yung acceleration, vertical, gamit itong kinematic equation na to, pwede na natin siyang magamit to solve for the unknown force. So, solve muna natin yung acceleration using the equation from kinematics. We choose the origin as ito. Ito yung kanyang pinanggalingan. So, this is y sub o and this is 3 meters. And yung y natin ang i- equate natin sa 0. So, nang galing sa 3 meters, bumaba siya hanggang dito sa part na to, and dyan yung wala na siyang distance. So, ang isi-zero natin is yung y, this is zero na, yung y sub o is equal to 3 meters. Again, merong isang keyword na naman dito na from rest, ibig sabihin nag-start siya from rest, zero yung kanang initial velocity. By deriving, masasolve natin yung a y, this is 0 equals y sub o plus 1 half times the acceleration due to vertical times t square. Lipat natin ito. This is negative 1 half na times a y t square equals y sub o. We divide both sides by negative 1 half t square. Negative 1 half t square. Cancel, 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 cancel. And a y now is equal to y sub o over negative one-half t-square. Substituting the given values or the known values, a y is equal to, ang y sa bow natin is equal to 3 meters over negative one-half. Ang t natin is given which is 1.2 seconds quantity square and by calculating the acceleration natin is equal to negative 4.2 meters per second square. Bakit naging negative 4.2 meters per second square? Kasi ini-assume nga natin na yung upward is positive. Ay papunta sa baba yung acceleration na na-solve natin. 
para masolve natin yung force na binibigyan ng pole dun sa man, summation of forces at the vertical, ang nag sa kanya is unang-una is yung force nga na binibigyan ng pole and yung weight nung man mismo. So, net force Y is equal to, ang force is unknown and yung weight natin is mass times the gravity. And again, itong net force Y natin is also equal dito sa part na to. So, pwede natin siyang ilagay na lang ito as mass times the acceleration at Y equals force mass times gravity. Kaya nga natin sinolve itong AY, alam na, para alam na natin yung AY, alam na rin natin yung mass, alam na natin yung gravity, masasolve na natin yung force upward na ibinibigay nung pole dun sa man. Calculating the force, uh, derive na natin equation, this is now mass times acceleration y, nilipat natin sa kabila, and then pinagbaliktad lang natin yung equation, this is positive mass times gravity, or simply, this is equal to, ang given values natin is yung mass, 97 kilograms times negative 4.2 meters per second square, plus, again, 97 kilograms times the gravity na 9.81 meters per second square. By calculating, force now is equal to 540 newton. All of us have had the experience of riding in an elevator and mararamdaman natin yung either mabigat or magaan depending dun sa galaw ng elevator. For example, when the elevator accelerates upward from rest, we feel heavier, mabigat yung pakiramdam natin. On the other hand naman, magaan yung pakiramdam natin when the elevator that is moving upward comes to rest and nag-accelerate bigla downward. In short, yung motion of an elevator can give rise to an apparent weight na tinatawag natin that differs from our true weight. So, sa elevator, nagkakaroon tayo ng apparent weight na tinatawag or yung pag-iiba ng weight natin. The motion of an elevator can give rise to an apparent weight that differs from our true weight. And if this force is greater than our weight, we feel heavy. If it is less than our weight, we feel light. Example number three. A student weighs a 5.2 kilogram object by hanging it from a scale attached to the ceiling of an elevator. What is the apparent weight of the object if the elevator is at rest? Letter B. If the elevator moves with an upward acceleration of 3.5 meters per second square. And letter C. If the elevator moves with a downward acceleration of 2.3 meters per second square. For example, this is the elevator. And ito yung weighing scale. And this is the object na sinusukat sa a small box. So pinakauna na ga na force dito sa box natin is yung kanyang weight. Pangalawa is yung force na ina-exert ng scale which is pataas. Ito. So pag, pag nag-create tayo ng free body diagram, this is the weight. And ito naman yung force na ibinibigay nung scale or dito rin natin masusukat yung apparent weight or simply this is a uh, weight sub A. So mapapansin natin that yung upward is the positive direction. Assuming ito siya ulit. Therefore, yung weight nung object is negative. We have negative and this is equal to negative mass times gravity. And the y component naman nung apparent weight is the positive ito. This is positive. So, alam na natin yung magnitude ng weight. Alam natin yung mass ng object which is 5.2 kilograms. And, imumultiply lang natin siya sa acceleration due to gravity. Masasolve na natin yung weight. And, from all the three questions given din sa atin yung acceleration. Letter A, no acceleration. Letter B, we have a given upward acceleration 3.5 meters per second square. And, sa letter C naman, Downward acceleration which is 2.3 meters per second squared. Downward, ibig sabihin, isi-set natin siya as negative. Let's start with letter A. Summation of forces Y muna tayo. This is equal to the apparent weight or yung force na nanggagaling sa scale na binibigyan ng scale. 
minus yung weight ng object. And by Newton's second law of motion, itong Fy na yan is equal to mass times the acceleration y. So, pwede natin i-equate itong dalawa na to, mass times the acceleration y is equal to the apparent weight minus the weight ng object. Again, naka-rest yung ating elevator, so meaning no acceleration, zero na agad ito. Therefore, yung apparent weight natin is directly equal sa weight ng object which is mass times gravity. And by substituting the values, ang mass natin is 5.2 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second square. Ang apparent weight natin for letter A is equal to 51 newton. For letter B naman, it moves with an upward acceleration daw yung elevator. By using the same process, ito lang din ang gagamitin natin. Kaya lang, hindi na zero yung acceleration natin. Mass times the acceleration y is equal to the apparent weight minus the weight. Solving for the apparent weight, this is equal to apparent weight is the mass times the acceleration y plus the weight. This is m times the ay plus m times the gravity. If factor out natin yung mass, this is equal to mass times the acceleration at y and the gravity. Apparent weight is equal to, ang mass natin is 5.2 kilograms times the acceleration positive 3.5 meters per second square plus 9.81 meters per second square. The apparent weight now is equal to 69 newton. Mas mabigat yung weight kasi pa-upward yung acceleration ng elevator pa kontra dun sa weight. Kaya nadagdagan yung weight. And for letter C naman, downward naman yung acceleration. Same process is apparent weight equals mass times the acceleration y plus the gravity. So apparent weight by directly substituting the values, mass is 5.2 kilograms. Ang given na acceleration is 2.3 and this is downward, so negative. Again, ito yung ating sign na sinusunod. So, pababa yung acceleration, therefore, the acceleration is negative. 2.3 meters per second square plus 9.81 meters per second square. By calculating, the apparent weight now is equal to 39 newton. Mas magaan kasi... Iisa ng direction yung acceleration and yung weight. When the object is at rest or moving with constant velocity, yung acceleration is zero and the apparent weight is equal to the actual weight, yung mass times gravity. In part B naman, yung apparent weight is greater than the actual weight dahil yung scale ay nag -e exert ng upward force capable not only of supporting the object but of accelerating it upward as well. In part C, the apparent weight is less than the actual weight. Well, in this situation, yung net force acting on the box is downward and hence its acceleration is downward. So this is example number 3.